Hi, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over Unreal Level Streaming. And I'm going to go over the following points. Why would you use it? I'll show some simple streaming using blueprints and volumes and moving assets between levels. And I'll talk about some of the common issues that I've bumped into while using it. And I'll also paste resources below. So let's get started. All right, so here we are. I've got a level that's somewhat built and let's open up the level streaming. So under Windows, Levels, you've got the persistent level and that's what's going on here. And then I've actually got a couple other levels that I've built that I can stream in. And I can also, let's talk about maybe optimizing this persistent level a little further. So maybe when I go into one of these rooms, maybe pretending I'm going into the basement or something, I don't need all this architecture in the background. Maybe it's heavy and I can get rid of it or put it into a separate map and unstream it. So how could I do that? Let's go under levels. We'll create a new level. We'll call this uh, city stream. And we'll take those assets from the persistent level. So you can see that this is highlighted blue, that means it's the active level. And so now anything that I create will go into that, or I can move assets from somewhere else, like in this case, the persistent level. I can select those and I can right click here and I can move those selected actors to the level. And now I can toggle the level visibility and you can see it's working. Excellent. So let's just talk about the other elements of the interface here. We've, we can lock the level so that you can't manipulate it or mess it up. You can also open up the level blueprint from here and you can save from here. And you can also color code your different levels. All right, uh, let's show how we can stream some of this stuff in using blueprints. So I'll just use the level blueprint and the persistent level. I've got the uh, an unload here, but I'm gonna load in this case. So the uh, type stream, uh, load level stream. We'll do the map one and we want to do the map two and then i called it city stream was the third one so control w type city stream and connect all of these up so let's test it before what does it look like you know when i hit play that's interesting. That's loading for some reason. Don't know why. Doesn't look like I have it loaded. But anyways, let's uh, load everything up. So now when I hit play, uh, what's missing? Well, uh, first of all, I, I want to make the all the levels visible. So I should check these on. The, that kind of makes sense. This doesn't always make sense. This should block on load. That tries to make the processor do the activity at the same time it's doing it, M meaning that there shouldn't be any delays. But um, sometimes levels are, they take a long time to load or unload. And so uh, you need to test your level streaming on the platform that you're going to be aiming for. Otherwise, you could be in for some um, surprises according to the Unreal Docs. So you can use this. I, I've also like added slight delays to some of my levels, like just a tenth of a second sometimes between loading and unloading stuff seems to help. Uh, anyways, that's some advice. And now when I hit play, everything loads in and should be visible. All right, cool. So let's, um, let me show this with the uh, Unreal level volumes, uh, streaming volumes. So right now if I hit play, we've got this weird, weirdly loading. I don't think I have any level volumes. Maybe I, maybe I do. Anyways, uh, let's just create some uh, streaming volumes. Stream, streaming volume. Got a streaming volume. You want to like overlap these. So, got that one. Make it go right over the, the door. And then I'm going to hold alt and drag it. And so now, Go back and open up the levels. You open up the level details, and those need to be in the uh, these level stream uh, 
volumes, they have to be in the persistent level. So right now, if uh, this was the active level, they um, would throw an error. So I need to select those both. These level stream volumes, and I need to move them to the persistent level. Okay, so because the streams have to be, uh, streaming volumes have to be in the persistent level. All right, so now that I've got that done, um, let's go and say, this is this is part of map one, and so I'm going to have that part of the level streaming main volume. We could like maybe give this uh, a name here, main, and then um, so that's part of the main, and then I'll it's also going to be part of the um, the other going in here, and then. All the other levels will be part of main. So map two will be part of main. And also the city stream will be part of main as well. Okay. So when I hit play, I'm here. I go into the doorway and I look out the door and everything else has unloaded, which is awesome go back through the door and everything's back to the way it was. And actually, I think that if I go past the streaming volume that I've created, everything's gone. So anyways, that's how you can use level streaming volumes. All right, let me talk about a few quick other things. You can use level streaming collaboratively. You can you know break things down based on, you know, like I've shown here, you can like stake out your space and have a team work on areas in this part of the map or that part of the map and stream them all together. You could also, I've read, you could work on, you know, you could stream based on audio. Um, other things that I've bumped into is, um, I already talked about how adding delays can help out a little bit. Uh, you can, depending on how you're streaming, like if you're streaming to you want your character to feel like they're going to a completely different area or a completely different level, you may stream in and out and have even different light bakes within your streams. And so you're gonna, one thing that you'll get is you'll have to figure out how you want to have, you know, where are your lights going to be? Because I mean, you can only have so many skylights. So typically, you know, you might wanna, if your environment changes, you're gonna have to like sort of figure that out but that pretty much wraps things up. I will paste the resources below and thanks so much for watching.